And I know it's going to hurt a lot of y'all who from here when you first time. And you can't tell me in the days and the time with the internet right now, everybody who got a, who got a half a brain is making money off of the internet. If you're posting on the internet every day and you ain't making no money, then you need to unfriend everybody that is supporting you. Strangers will support you more than people you know. It backs. I got a lot of that. So I don't know. I don't, I don't got, trust me, last year I got rid of so many people and I'm so stress free. You don't even see most of the people in my comment section. I don't know them. That's in my comment section. The people that know you are in competition with you. They battling your demons and their demons right now. Rather, they're comparing your demons. They're comparing. They, they want to be better than you. I'm not in competition with nobody but myself. Change your surroundings if you want to win. But first and foremost, get that fucking hate out of your heart. I want for everybody the same thing. I want for my brother what I want for myself. I want for my sister what I want for myself. I don't see somebody win and frown my face up like these cats do. I'm not sitting up here watching. I don't never watch another YouTuber. I never watch another YouTuber record they live and then wait to make a video to diss them. I never watch another YouTuber Record they live, wait for them to get drunk. Oh yeah, because Hassan Campbell had demons. I was getting drunk on YouTube like crazy. My mother was dying. And I was wowing on the internet because I didn't get fuck. And YouTubers would wait, record my live, and then play it because they knew YouTube, YouTubers were taking down with two graphics to use it against me, to break me. They never make videos talking about Hassan Campbell is about to snap. He's spiraling out of control. And they was making videos saying this. They thought it was cute. I was in the worst state, or probably the same state DMX was in. But I overcame that shit. I'm strong. Making fun about me, about me being molested. That shit don't bother me no more. I don't live in the prison in your mind. There's a DMX that lived with every last one of us that came from poverty and pain. Trying to, yo, you know what's crazy? That most of us that come from the hood are trying to get over the pain of being raised by a single mother. The worst thing that can happen to a young black boy in the hood is being raised by a single mother with the evil stepdad. And shout out to you women out there that's doing the best with your children, that's raising your children the right way. But there's beautiful sisters out there that's actually putting in and putting up and raising their children the right way. And then there's these bitches that's using their children to raise their children while they party. They outside hanging out. They kids is babysitting their kids. And wondering why the hood is fucked up. We still surviving. We start. We still trying to get over poverty and pain. Poverty and pain. Kids going to school being picked on. Kids going around other family members. The kids being picked on. Mama don't want to work, so she can't buy no clothes. And when she do buy clothes, she makes sure she pretty. She got nice book bags. She got nice shoes on. Nice tight ass jeans to fit her ass. But the kids sneakers is fucked up. But then, either he a bitch ass nigga, or he realized the bitch he was fucking with ain't shit and the kids ain't shit neither. Because sometimes a woman could corrupt the kids to the point the way that you be like, fuck, and I don't even like the little motherfucker. I know they my enemy. You already made them that. And sometimes there's nothing that a man can do. Because sometimes when you got a foul ass woman, some of, some of you sisters is fucked up. You're just as fucked up as the deadbeat nigga that's standing on the corner that'll never hug your face. You're so fucked up like DMX mother. 
She took that nigga to a group home and said, you like this? He's like, it's nice. And left him. And left him. GMS came to Paul being abandoned. Some of y'all females in the hood, y'all neglect. And I, I learned this from a female like 20 years ago. She said, you want to fuck a kid up? You treat him bad. Don't give him no hugs, no kisses. He'll hate his daddy. That's how you break him. So now he's doing everything to please his mother. So sometimes when dudes step away from some of the sisters, it's because the mother ain't shitting the kids. She fucked them up already. They don't want this love. They're competing to get hers more. And sometimes you gotta step away from the bitches. Like, we fuck you and the kids. Yep, I say, fuck you and the kids. I take care of them, but get your ass to fuck away from them. Before I end up having to shoot one of them little niggas. You know why? Because she poisoning them. Your own child be sitting up there talking about, I hate you, daddy. You be like, what? Then it get to the point where like, fuck it, I hate you too, little nigga. Poverty and pain. This is what the hood is raising. The worst thing that can happen, happen to a young black boy or a young black girl is to be raised in the womb of a hood bugger. Bitch six months pregnant, she drinking Hennessy and smoking weed. DMX! He couldn't get over his pain. How Pac said, my pain runs deep. Share it with me. But you know what, though? Some of the greatest motherfuckers you will ever meet come from poverty and pain, like me, like DMX, like Tupac. Some of the best motherfuckers that you'll ever meet come from poverty and pain. It's just that you gotta learn how to break the cycle before it breaks you. Andrew Hall, thanks for the donation, family. We jumping out entertainment LLC. Thank you, family. Appreciate you. We catch up with y'all in the comments section. Natalie, we love you, Hassan. Appreciate everything you said, everything you stand by. Love to hear you talk. Thank you, family. I appreciate you with your beautiful self. I gotta start, I gotta start complimenting the sisters again. Thank you with your beautiful self. Shout out to all the beautiful sisters that's in the house. And please, don't never confuse what I'm saying to y'all. Don't never confuse what I'm saying to y'all how I'm compare, comparing you to the evil bitches out there. But let me tell you something, man. I'm not perfect as a father, but I love my children. And I dedicate my life and my time to take care of my children. Matter of fact, I got one of them staring at this. What are you looking at me for? Come on, you want to say hi? Because you're staring at me. You want to come say hi real quick? Huh? Come say hi. She's staring over there watching everything. Come on, come on, just say hi real quick. Come on, you're being nosy, come say hi. All right, that's what I thought. Let's get out of here. Leave me alone, Daddy. Leave me alone, Daddy. Sitting up there watching me. I live my life for mine, man. I ride for mine. Tyreek, big shout out, Hassan. You the truth, my G. Mad, mad love and support. Fam, you're an inspiration for real. I turn my life around. And your words help keep me focused. Oh man, I appreciate that. And you know what, see, I, I, I thank you for sharing those words because a lot of people sit up there and say, Hi, what are you doing for the community? Well, he just told you. A lot of people are starting to wake up, man. The streets ain't a myth, the streets is evil. The streets is evil. Leanne, woman. God bless you and your family. Thank you, family. Appreciate you. Millie Mills. Whoa, bro. You going ham. <laughs> I go, I'm, I'm here light tonight. This is one of my lightest nights right here. I usually go all the way in. Jermaine Harris. World War III is a battle for the souls. Please wake up and pray. Most definitely, man. Your kids go outside. We got to start. I got I to gotta pray more than what I'm praying. Fabio, how you keep yourself righteous, love from Italy. It's, you know what, man? I'm not perfect. Some days I wake up, I be killing people in my mind. Let me be the first to tell you. James Allman, thank you for the donation, family. Some days I wake up and I be killing people in my mind. Some days I be in my car and I be thinking to myself, if you run that motherfucker off, you get 10 points. 
Run them over, you get 10 points. I battle with myself too. The path of righteousness is not easy. It's just battling with your demons. Mm. It's just like when you're working out, right? And you want to die. You say, you know what? I'm not going to eat this piece of chocolate. You got your fuck up days. When you fuck up, that's what you repent for. You pray to the most high, to almighty God, whoever you pray to. And then you go back to the drawing board and you start all over again. And you keep on your straight path of righteousness. Sometimes when you, let me tell you something, man. When God takes a person out of your life, you got to stop running back and going to get that same person that God removed out of your life. He gives you a favor. Exactly. Sometimes when God is trying to put you in a position, and I ain't talking about you nasty-ass hoes and nasty-ass men that keep running back and fucking the same devil. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, because both of y'all, well, sometimes both y'all devils deserve each other. She a devil, she ain't shit, and he ain't shit. Y'all deserve each other. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people that's really trying to do better by themselves, by the people around them. I ain't talking about you bitches. Oh, you can be better than him, so you go in the garbage can and go get another garbage ass nigga. Bitch, you ain't shit, and he ain't shit either. Y'all deserve each other. Y'all need to go create an island with you bad bitches and you real niggas, and y'all need to breathe together and get the fuck away from the righteous people because y'all bringing a curse upon this earth. Because the earth is becoming so evil, and so uh, America is becoming so evil and so so unbalanced that God has.